In this video, we're talking about split infinitives. But before we can talk about splitting infinitives, let's just talk for a minute about what infinitives are. Infinitives, put simply, are the most basic forms of verbs. They're the verbs before we've done anything to them to reflect um, who or what is doing that action or um, during what time, whether it's past, present, or future, that action is occurring. So instead of, so to run is an infinitive. Instead of saying, I run, I ran, he runs, she runs, um, those are all called, you know, conjugations of the verb, but at its most basic form, to run is the inf is an infinitive. To eat, to study, to perform, those are all examples of infinitives. So how do we split them? We split them by putting words in between them. To quickly run, to slowly eat, to intensely study, to confidently perform. These words here are splitting up these two pieces, but infinitives should function together as a whole. They need to be right next to each other. They like to be standing next to each other in sentences. So how do we fix that? Well, we can just move um, these adverbs somewhere else. So to run quickly, to eat slowly, to study intensely, to confidently perform. And sometimes if, if uh, these infinitives are in a sentence, you may not be able to move these um, adverbs immediately after the infinity you may have to do a little bit more work than that but let's look at some examples and see the professor asked students to quickly take the quiz let's pull out the infinitive in this sentence to take that's our infinitive and it's being separated by this word quickly so we can fix this easily by saying the professor asked students to take the quiz quickly. Let's look at another example. My goal is pretty low this semester, to not fail a class. Pause the video, see if you can pull out the infinitive, and see if you can figure out a way to fix the sentence by moving that whatever it is that is splitting the infinitive. All right, did you figure it out? The infinitive in this sentence is to fail, and it's being split by the word not. My goal is pretty low this semester. We could move it here and say my goal is pretty low this semester not to fail a class, but that sounds kind of strange. Even though it's correct, it sounds weird. Sometimes when you fix sentences like this, the correct way just sounds weird in our ears. So what you might want to do is, is change your word choice. Don't try to fix a word choice that just sounds odd. Try shifting it completely. We could change the sentence to say, my goal is pretty low this semester. I just want to pass all my classes. All right. And we have an infinitive here, too, but there's nothing splitting it, so we're good to go. Last example. After a busy weekend, I have to reluctantly do my homework on Sunday evenings. Pause the video, pull out the split infinitive, and see what you can do to fix the sentence by removing that split. Okay? To, to reluctantly do is the split infinitive. Reluctantly is the word that is splitting to do. How did you fix this sentence? Well, you could have said, after a busy weekend, I have to do my homework reluctantly on Sunday evenings. That's one way. Or you could have said, after a busy week weekend, I reluctantly have to do my homework on Sunday evenings. Either way works. Just remember, whenever you're working with infinitives, which is the most basic form of a verb, to run, to eat, to drink, that you don't put something in between that infinitive to split it up.